What is going on my Super Saiyan, which is Robstar here, and today I bring you the first discussion of the year, and I figured what better way to start 2016 off, I almost forgot what year it was, this is going to be like the equivalent of writing 2015 down on paper and correcting it. Uh, to kick out 2016, I figured let's bring back the original quad, and I got Black and Fist, Thundershot, and Kwame here, and today we're going to have a fun little discussion about the racists of the Dragon Ball universe. Not racist, because uh, we, we, we don't support racists, we talk about the racists. Racist, you fuck know, the Mexicans, Saiyans, uh, apparently fucking the <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and basically, what is your favorite race in the Dragon Ball universe? At any point, feel free to drop that in the comment section below. But for now, how about we go down the list? Start with Black and Fist because we rarely tend to see Black and Fist. So how about you go ahead and kick us off? Well, in terms of my favorite race, you know, there's a lot of races to pick from, but I'm gonna go in and say uh, it's actually humans. Now, the reason I think the I just it, now, obviously, the humans got probably the most screen time out of all the races in Dragon Ball, but right. and maybe that's the reason they're the most interesting. But I just find them to be the more interesting of, of all any of them, simply because of how different things are and all the technology and the different thing, like cultures that are within the human uh, race. You could say within Dragon Ball, because I mean, if you think about it, something that's always struck me. As intriguing about the Dragon Ball world is that there's like just the technology diversity there's like hovering cars futuristic technology with current technology you know current uh -huh. cars and current technology with people still riding horses and Wild West towns so there's that aspect and of course because Toriyama is just a very zany writer all those zany things that happen within the human world and all the the special things that we see them in their cities and everything. So I just find the humans to be the more in, the most interesting out of any of the races. Honestly, question. question. Hmm. Do you count the animal people as humans also? <laughs> well, I was going to ask that. <laughs> uh, that's actually going in as strange technicalities in Dragon Ball, but uh, for intents and purposes, I guess you I guess you could include them. But I don't know if they're technically human. I I'm not sure about that one right now. So here's the but question: But they are for integrated. You. you would assume. I mean, you know, some of them are scientists, some of them are police officers. Well, the the something. leader of the world is a is a well, is here, a dog. Here's yeah. a question I have for you, uh, Black and Fist. Yes. Uh, do you like Earthlings or humans specifically? Um, I guess you, I guess it, I guess it could be I guess it could be just Earthlings because okay. Um, be, because honestly. The there's a lot of you know I guess sentient uh, beings on Earth that are Earthlings that are I guess not necessarily humans I think see that that that, that the reason I'm you know being a little careful with my wording here is because they're the way Dragon Ball and the Daisenshu uh, I think defined human is like very different from what like the real word definition of is so that's why I'm being careful how to word this I'm not sure. If like a dog person is a human in Dragon Ball, but right, yeah, I guess you could include them too. Well, I will say a lot of times uh, when we're looking at our real world, my favorite kind of people are actually dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying because dogs are a lot cooler than people sometimes. And cats. Um, okay, let me ask you one, one last question before we move on to Thundershot. Who is your one favorite human character? Like, if you can pick one, who is your one at the top of that list? Well, it's uh, it's either got to be between Mr. Satan. Or Tien. Now, people might object to saying Tien. Oh, the Daisenshu said that he's like from a three-eyed tribe alien thing. I don't. I don't really care. Tien Shinhan never was explained to be in the manga or the anime as an alien. He, as far as everyone is concerned, he's mostly human anyway. So it's uh -huh. Tien Shinhan or Mr. Satan. So if and if you guys don't accept the Tien one, I guess we can go with Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan is an awesome character. A lot of people are annoyed by him, but. I feel like he was very well utilized throughout the series, especially at the end when he actually did get to help everybody. Yep. I mean, I hated uh, uh, Mr. Satan in the Cell Saga, but after that, it became very, very important. I mean, if it wasn't for him, Kid Buu, you know, in, in the anime at least, would have uh, basically resulted in the death of, of Vegeta and stuff like that. So he's done a lot of cool things, and he's overall a real noble person, especially in Dragon Ball Super. You got to see more of his human side, so he's definitely cool. Um, comment below which human character is your favorite, though. All right, Thundershot, you're up next. Chatsu's a human. <laughs> ah, he's a Pokemon. He's a Pokemon. He's a Pokemon. We can all agree on that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm just going to assume for all intents and purposes that I we're not allowed to pick Saiyan because Saiyan was designed No, no, you can pick be... anybody. If you want to do Saiyan, go for it. Because I know your favorite character I'm... is Broly, right? <clears throat> I'm going to not do Saiyan <laughs> just because I think Saiyan was designed to be the, the obvious choice here, the the best race of the, out of the whole thing. I mean, you, know, you can always... Another level of Super Saiyan, another level of power, another level of achievement. I mean, it's just... And they're obviously... Also, got Kakarot! Got on the show. 
um, if the freezer race actually had more uh, people to it, things to it, other than uh, Frieza, his dad, and then an uncannon cooler, that would be up there. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and say Majin solely, and I know that they're very limited too, but uh, Majin solely on the fact that there's still a lot left there that they could have done with it that wasn't done in the show. For example, Dragon Ball Heroes expanded off and Kid Buu ripped himself in half and made the other half of him his lover, which is hilarious to me. Booby. I don't know why I always laugh at that, but I mean, they have all those. I mean, there was Kid Buu, there was Super Buu, there was every form Super Buu had absorbing people. Uh, the fat form, I mean, there's just there's so many options and places they could go with that. And between absorbing and combining and fusing this, that, and the other, or just morphing yourself into whatever you want to be or ripping the evil half out of you. A lot of the reason I'm picking Majin is because none of the stuff they did made sense, but it's, it's, I'm going to go with Majin on that one. Plus, I mean, Xenoverse Ma gave us a lot of cool Majin ideas, too. Yeah, they're pretty cool. On top of that, uh, I don't know if every single Majin Buu character uh, would work this way, but they, they tend to learn just by looking at stuff, and it's kind of a cool ability to have. Like, oh, you can miss the transmission? I'm about to do it, too. Here's a question I have for you, though, before we move on. Um, for As far as Majin Buu, is your favorite, like, who's your one favorite character? And if you want, you can also count even the people who had the Majin logos on their face. If you want to say Babidi and... Dabura as well. Uh, who's your favorite from the Majin, I guess, clan? Um, Fat Boo. And Fat I know Boo? all the Boos were ruthless in their own way, but solely because of how he treated uh, Bobbity. Okay. After that's, Bobbity, that's Bobbity got on his nerves one too many times, Boo's just like, nope. And then he just blew his head off. So I'm going to yeah. go with Fat Boo for that main reason. Plus, Fat Boo's still actually in the in Super. Right. Cool. All right. Before we move on to uh, Kwaman, again, you know this works. Comment below, which is your favorite from the Majin, I guess, race or clan or... Anybody, I guess, around the Majin-esque era, who's your favorite character from that? Comment below. All right, Kwame, I know you've been waiting for the longest to talk about Piccolo, so go ahead. Well, <laughs> as everybody would have guessed that I was going to say that, obviously, because Piccolo is my favorite character, I'm going to go with Namix. That's actually not the case. Piccolo is not my favorite character because he's a Namekian. And as a matter of fact, as I've told Black and Fist, Thundershot, and Rhymestall many times off the air, Gohan, for actually the longest amount of time, was my favorite character up until a few years ago. But with that said, Namix are not my favorite race, although I give a great honorable mention to them, how they can fuse with each other, how they have healing abilities, and how they're basically one of the original like characters that were focused strictly on dealing with Dragon Balls, what the whole series was based on. I'm going to go with a unique race called the Tuffles, or should I pull a Geekdom 101 and say the Sofuru Jins? And the reason why I say the Tuffles are a very interesting race is because of the fact that they are very, from what we've seen of the Tuffles, you know, from the humanoid depictions, I feel like they have the coolest backstory of any race in the entire Dragon Ball series. Because uh -huh. when you look at the Tuffles, it's like the time where we really look at the Saiyans as the bad guys. All the time we always think about how Frieza basically massacred, you know, the entire Saiyan race, except for, you know, a handful of them. But when you look at the, set, the Tuffles, it's really when you see, like, wow, like, these guys were basically wiped out by the Saiyans, and it makes the Saiyans look more savage like how they were the ones who originally had all of the technology before they had a war and basically ex they also showed how the great ape transformation was interesting and i don't really have a great pool of characters to pick from obviously i mean you could go you know if you're counting the specials the movies and obviously counting gt we really only have a handful of characters including baby dr mew we also have Dr. Raichi, who I don't know if you guys might know that, but he was from the original A Plan to Eradicate the Series. And we also have Hachiak, which was basically the amalgamation of what Dr. Raichi created. So with all that said, because of their interesting background and because they were able to hold their own wit technology, I'm going to have to go with the Tuffles. They're a really interesting concept. You know what I wish, uh, or I would love to see actually? A spin-off like movie OVA special that's just uh based on the whole Saiyans as a tuffle thing. I think it'd be awesome. Well that'd be like ninety nine percent just to say and slaughtering the tuffle though. <laughs> <laughs> well it would be we know how it ends, but uh I would love to see like kinda like a Terminator style thing where it's like, you know, they're trying to survive, you know, uh, maybe there's a hero that was like rising up and then it ends up basically turning into like the Bardock special where it's like the last tuffle gets destroyed. I think that'd be really really I mean, obviously it probably wouldn't happen today because I feel like Toei is more focused on so gave us more lighthearted um, at a younger audience type of thing, but it, it, it would be kind of cool to see something like that, honestly. All right, well, you know how this works? Again, is there, if there's any tougher characters in the comments below, uh, let us know who you guys like the most from, from that race. But for me, can anybody guess who my favorite race is? Do you guys know? 
I feel like I said this uh, a thousand times. Saying the freezy pops, of course. Freezy, uh, of course. Uh, I gotta go with the freezy. So and then obvious. in the background of my so video, obvious. you see uh, Dragon Ball Heroes. You'll see like Froze and them and stuff like that. Um, yes, but Dragon Ball Heroes is like a game that came out. Uh, this is not from like the actual show or anything. In case you're wondering, where the hell is the animation from? Um, I don't know. I just always like the freezer races because the first time I see Freezer as a character, he's just this badass, crazy, sadistic motherfucker that's just killing people left and right. Not that I support killing. But he was just like fearful. But ultimately, what, what makes me like the most about the Freezer Race is number one, their designs and how they can change based on like transformations and stuff like that. And two, it, I just feel like in the expanded universe, like with Froze and all that, it's a lot of interesting stuff. So that's why I'm really hyped about Super and uh, Frost being introduced uh, in the Shampa arc. I just think that there's so much more potential there of, you know, like what if we actually have a character that's actually good? How would that fit into the universe? Uh, you know, what kind of transformations can they do? Like, it's just, there's so much you can do with the Freezer Race. It's so awesome. And on top of that, they're really powerful at the same time. And that's the reason why Freezer Race is my favorite. And if I have to choose one favorite right now, even though we don't know anything about Frost, I gotta go with Froze. Uh, as you can see, again, it's in the background of this video. Froze is just this, like, he supposedly is, like, a good guy who didn't want to be evil in the Freezer Race. And what he does in Dragon Ball Heroes is kind of like, he's like, the, what if Freezer was a good character type of thing? And that, to me, was just pretty bad, pride ass. So, with that said... Uh, the freezer race is my favorite, so yeah. And again, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below who your favorite freezer race character is. But if there's nobody in this video or a specific race that we missed out, uh, wh what is that race? What do you like the most? Let us know your thoughts. Uh, and I guess that's pretty much everything for this discussion. Just a little quick one bring back the original Thought for Talk, uh, Quaman, Black Fist, and Thundershot. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, gentlemen, is there anything else you want to say before we end this? I think I'm good. No, happy yeah, I'm New good. Year's, I'm good, everyone. Man. And happy, yeah, happy New Year's. Happy New Year, yeah. All right, folks, uh, we'll see you guys in the comment section below then.